Headline of the week. It's the show that's filmed about a month in advance, or filmed in the current day and takes about a month to edit. You know what, let's just rip into it. NASA astronauts offer teledildonic sex in space with lovers back on Earth. Hashtag technology. We are doing the right things with our resources. <laughs> Forget the Mile High Club, we are going miles beyond that club. Do you reckon anyone's actually had sex in space? I feel like it would be too difficult with no gravity. Hard to hit the G spot in space where there is no gravity. That's a joke, right? Also, I love how it kind of looks like a key remote, like it's to your car. Beep, beep, bzz. Ooh, hello. <laughs> is it the headline of the week? You know what, I'm gonna put it in holding. Man had tweezers stuck in his urethra for four years. Four years. He inserted them when he was 18, but waited four years before having them. Why? Why? Surely that is painful. Do I need to censor that? So many questions on that one. Painting cows to look like zebras has a surprising benefit. Number one, it's amusing, but apparently also has advantages for cattle and humans. Do we want to know more about it or just laugh at the fact that people are painting cows to look like zebras? That's not the headline of the way. Teen eats her own horse after it was put down and says it was the best meat ever. List of pets you could eat after they die. I mean, technically you can eat them. It's whether you want to or not. I'm a little bit worried about what I'm assuming is the dish that she's created. Looks disgusting. The Chilean pineapple, it looks like. There's a strong headline. May well be the headline of the week. Mum gives toddler her phone to play with and a 350 pound Amazon sofa turns up at the house. Have you not learned your lesson? Do not give your kids your phone. Particularly if you've got credit card information that is stored in there, but they can just go tapity tap, tap, tap. Doesn't matter if they're a toddler, they will find a way. You have not learned your lesson, and that headline is going in the trash. Vegan reports friends who fed her chicken nuggets when she was drunk to police. They're your friends. Number one, why did they feed you chicken nuggets if they knew you were a vegan? Number two, are they still your friends? Number three, why did you report them to police? It's not a policeable thing, is it? I think regardless of what you do and don't like to eat, if you are doing something that's gonna impair your decision making, like drinking alcohol, to an excess of being drunk, you only really have yourself to blame. Sure, your friends may have fed it to you, but you bit down on it. If you were not drunk, you wouldn't have done that. Let's just be real here. Kind of funny, let's put it in holding. Hikers left uncomfortable after encountering man jogging in pink thong. And now you and I are both left uncomfortable as well. <laughs> I love out of all the colours that he could have chosen, he's gone with pink. Doesn't he know that red goes faster? Actually, I'm more worried about his socks. He's gone the black socks with his sneakers. That's not a great look. I mean, mate, get down to Maslin's or something. Go to a nudie beach or whatever you want to do. Just not in a, in a neighborhood. Not in a neighborhood. Trash. Woman in a five year relationship with a Boeing 737 to 800 and it's physical. Oh. Does she take like a smaller version, like a toy version of the plane into her bedroom? Cause like she's cuddling one there in the bed and then in the top there, she's kissing an actual size one. And who is let, like surely she's had to buy this. She can't just roll up to a hangar and be like, hey Boeing 737, like someone owns this plane, surely. It's not her. Has she got a sugar daddy who was grooming her to, you know, be with him and then she's taken a liking to the plane. These are all just assumptions. I have no idea what's going on in this story. I mean, I can understand it. Planes are pretty sexy, they're streamlined. They're kind of like a PP with wings, you know what I mean? And they've got those two round propellers. <laughs> I don't know, it's trash. Parents stage terrifying alien theme photo shoot for son's first birthday. Just stop taking stupid theme photos. Just take a photo. You don't need to put kids in pumpkins and just take a picture of them in their natural habitat. It'll look 10 times better. You don't need those Instagram likes. And I don't think you're gonna get them when you're theming it like an alien. Everything that's wrong with the world, it's going in the trash. Texas man robbed bank to pay for rings a day before the wedding. Does that man look like a uh, young Kyle Sanderlands? And the day before the wedding, I mean, come on. Little bit of prep, a week out. Or is the hope that if he does get caught, at least he can get married first? Here's a question. If you're a robber and you're looking to get money to pay for rings, do you just rob money to then go and buy rings? Or do you just rob a jewelry store and get the rings? 
Or is that then too difficult because you get in and then you have to decide on the ring. He's done, the story's done, it's going in the trash. And finally this week, winner of viral fat bear contest revealed. Do they have to whale the bears or is it just like an internet competition? <laughs> I'm not interested at all, it's going in the trash. Okay, so the strongest out of the headlines we're left with, man sticking tweezers in his urethra, why? Teen eating her own horse, why? And out of the other two, I don't think I'm that fond of the vegan eating the chicken nuggets and reporting her friends to the cops. It sounds like something that she would do. It's going in the trash. And we're left with astronauts having sex. Yay! <laughs> Time to dive a little bit deeper into these headlines. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but this is happening, okay? First up, let's find out about the teen that ate her own horse. Best meat ever. So she was raised on a farm, giving her a more realistic relationship with animals, even though now she's received death threats. She lost her horse, Drifting Speed, good name for a horse, when it was put down due to illness. Now a deleted Facebook post of a keen writer and apprentice chef revealed her family kept fillets of Drifting Speed in the freezer, writing, if I'm gonna eat horse meat, it's gonna be my own. You gotta be so careful putting a little bag called Drifting Speed in the freezer. Like if the cops come around, they're like, speed, and then they open it up and they see there's meat and they're like, what is going on? You are gonna be investigated. She described how she prepared the dish, thank you, because I wanna know what the hell's going on there. Chili and mango, it's not pineapple, it's mango. Adding, it's not better for the meat to be buried and eaten by the worms when you could eat it yourself. So this story's come from Norway. It's got a lot of backlash if you see death threats. Many wrote that she deserved to be killed for eating her own horse. One wrote that she should lose the right to have animals. It got so bad that she had to take down her original post. And some of the fiercest responses came from the equestrian community rather than vegan communities, I'm guessing, which is kind of interesting. Pia stands by her decision, arguing horse meat is a delicacy and drifting speed had to be put down in any case, adding it was some of the best meat we have ever eaten. Look, I don't think I'd do it with my dog, but I understand where she's coming from. Like back in the day, you used to have the cow and the chickens and whatnot, and you'd have them for eggs and they would live and they would give you milk and they would give you stuff and that's how people lived on farms. And then if they died, then you ate like a king. But while they were around, they were all right. I don't know. Yes, we are living in a world where everything is accessible and maybe we should be eating less meat and more vegetables. But hey, I don't think at this point in time, before the whole world changes its mind, that we can really judge her that much. A deeper dive on the next headline. NASA astronauts offered teledildonic sex in space with lovers back on Earth. 2020 promises to be a massive year for space travel, so they reckon they can get this done by next year. Wow. <gasps> It's Elon Musk's SpaceX program. Collaborating with NASA, they're preparing people to stay in space for years. NASA's human research is dedicated to researching the effects of long-range space travel, including the issues of loneliness and isolation. It's an important issue. Despite NASA's attempts to make sure astronauts are equipped with the items they need to survive and stay connected to planet Earth, NASA is failing to address one of the most basic human urges that affect astronauts. There's a growing concern that NASA and Musk have forgotten sex technology will be crucial to aid them in their missions. Sex in space is rarely being discussed, but if the future of space exploration involves missions that could take up to three years, it's unlikely that space travelers will be able to ignore the desire to have sex for such long periods of time. But developments in technology may have the remedy for NASA. Teledildonic devices, which are essentially sex toys that connect over the internet, have become increasingly popular over the last year or so. Helps couples in long distance relationships to maintain an erotic connection, and using them will give astronauts sexual and emotional connection to their loved ones. Hey, it's a sex tech manufacturer in Amsterdam. They've been the leaders in sex technology since they first created a device in 2013. Now they want to use their expertise to help people in ultimate long distance relationships. The International Space Station now has 600 megabit per second connection, doubling the amount of data that the station can transmit and receive at any given time. Some of that bandwidth could be used for non-essential traffic. <laughs> Could be some teething issues due to huge distances between the astronauts and planet Earth. The devices would enable astronauts to pair up their devices with their partners back home. They press buttons and woo wee woo wee. And that's a little bit of fun, isn't it? Here we go. In zero gravity, using lubricants with sex tech might be an issue, but this could be rectified, good choice of words, by using a solid lube that melts with body heat. This would allow lube to be placed inside the device <laughs> more easily with the help of gravity. But there would need to be some way for the lubricant to, uh, to remove it from the air, perhaps with suction devices currently being used 
by NASA. I like that all these things are being thought through, it's important. Absolutely crucial that the astronauts are given the technology they need to remain stimulated and happy. We don't want a situation where we hear, Houston, we've got the vibrators. Whether NASA will accept the offer remains to be seen. Come on, NASA. Come on, do your part. We want people to start joining the more than the mile high club, please. It's a whole new club to explore. And finally, a bit of a deeper dive on the man who stuck tweezers in his urethra and left him there for four years. 22 years of age now, he's not been named, did not claim he did not suffer any pain as he inserted a pair of tweezers into his urethra four years earlier. Doctors applied pressure either side of the prone to keep the 2.7 inch tweezers closed while squeezing them out from the base of the shaft. My goodness, what did I just read? If they removed them while they were still open, the sharp ends could have damaged the urethra. Ugh. Yuck, what am I looking at? I think it's meant to say it is not known why he inserted them into his manhood, but some people enjoy putting items in their penis while masturbating. Practice is known sounding. When I look at these pictures, the procedure was reported by the urology case reports. Man visited a clinic in Saudi Arabia where he revealed his history of inserting metal items in the Metal items? Not just... I don't even want to know. In this case, the patient said he did not suffer any problems with urinating and was found to be in good physical health. Lucky him. X-ray revealed where the tweezers were showing close to the end had become embedded in the bulbous urethra at the top. Tweezers were wiggled out, patient was under general anaesthetic and used forceps to finish off. Doctors wrote, at the end of the procedure, no urethral catheter was inserted, the patient voided well and was sent home post-procedure. It was recommended to go to some evaluation, but he refused to go. <laughs> Did not follow up with the outpatient department. He was embarrassed enough, that's it, get out. What am I gonna do with these headlines? I think the teen eating her own horse is gonna have to go in third this week. And out of the final two, sex in space, masturbating on the ground by putting tweezers in your... It has to be the tweezers. I think that makes it two weeks in a row of peen-related headlines. <laughs> Scoring the headline of the week. Does that say something about me? Or does that say something about the headlines? I'll leave that for you to figure out. <laughs> do you agree with my choice this week or do you think there was something else that should have got headline of the week? Whether it was these headlines or one other you saw, let me know in those comments down below. Let me know where you're getting your news, your oddball news from, not the normal news. We don't care about that here on headlines of the week. <laughs> Give a bit of love to the like button, caress it gently if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this and other things that you can see on my channel. Go watch another video now. You've got the time. Come on, you do, you know you do. And I'll catch you again soon on this channel with more Headline of the Week and other things real, real soon.